Hey everyone, in this video we will learn how to create a time dimension in Power BI. So essentially what it will contain is the hours, the minutes, the seconds and the time. So let's uh, go and create it. So I've got some code here and we'll do it step by step. Um, so I'm using a few functions. I'm using generate series functions and I'm using select column functions. So uh, I'm creating tables or variables. So the first, so let's just op, go and open the function. So generate series. So what it does is it creates a series. You provide it a start value and end value. And then if you don't give it an increment value, it increments the value automatically by one. So we'll, uh, let's just go, we'll uh, create the first tape, uh, the first hour table and it will probably become clear. And then I've got the select column function, which basically adds a column to a table. So let's say I go here and I'll I go to uh, the modeling tab and I'll click on new table and I'll just copy paste the hour table. So I'm just creating a variable. So I'll take the variable out in this case. So we'll just call it hour table and I'm just uh, creating a series where I'm saying the values will be between zero to 23 and increment by one. So it'll go zero, one, two, three, four, and uh, we'll call it hour. So once I hit enter and let's go and look at the, the values here for this table. So we'll go here and you can see it's generated uh, an hour table for us with values from zero to 23. And that's what the syntax um, shows us as well. Let me go back. So it's it's created it. So similarly, when we go to this, uh, the minutes table, we are creating uh, minutes between zero to 59. We're incrementing every minute by one. So I'll just go and create another table here. And I'll hit enter. And we'll just look at the data for this table. So you can see it's created a minute table with the values from zero to 59. And similarly, we'll create a seconds table or a variable. So we'll just go here. And I'll just say new table in the modeling tab. So uh, I'll just call it the seconds table. It's any case called the seconds table and we can look at the data for the seconds table as well. So it gives us value from zero to 59. So if we scroll that. Now what we need to do is to create the timetable, we need to do a cross join between these three. So we'll get rid of these three first. Uh, let me um, delete this table. And now I'll delete the seconds table. And I'll also uh, remove the month table. So let's just get rid of that. So now what we'll do is we will uh, create a dim time. I'll just copy the whole of this. And we'll go to the modeling tab again. Click on create new table. And I'll just copy paste the code that we've, so we've be creating hour table, uh, minute table and seconds table. And then we're just doing a cross join. So hour table, minute table and seconds table. And then we're adding another column here, uh, which is a combination of uh, time, which is hour, minutes and seconds. So we're just creating that. So let me hit enter now. So we're calling this column time. And now if you look at the data, so let's just go and look at the data that we've created. It's got hour, minute, second, but with time for some reason it is adding the data as well and I don't know why it is doing it. So what we'll do is for this column, we'll go and change the data type from date time to time. And you can see that it is starting, it's, it's created this column. So you could also create a surrogate key here by joining the HH, MM and seconds. And then you could use that. But uh, in this uh, demo, we see, learn how to create a time dimension, uh, except the surrogate key, which we can add later on. Uh, and I'll also add this code that we've used um, as part of the video notes. So you can uh, download uh, or use this, reuse this code to create your own time dimension. I hope you find this video useful and thanks for watching this video. Uh, please do subscribe to my channel and like my videos if you enjoy what I'm doing. 
Uh, let me know if you would like me to take any specific topics. Cheers. Bye.